making observations and looking at stuff, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get everybody logged on today and we will get started shortly, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and, and get started here. So welcome to Trail Tales. Um, this is our pre-K program. So I'm really excited today to share with you a really neat book, okay? So we'll wait for some of our more, more of our friends to get on um, and then we'll get started reading our book and making some observations. And observations is something that maybe we, we look at, okay? So if, while we're waiting, if we're making observations, what sense do we use? We have five senses, okay? Can, what kind of sense do you think? Would we use our ears to make observations, do you think? Yes or no? Thumbs up, do you think you'd use your ears to make an observation or two? Okay, would we use our, I saw some friends over here, would we use our eyes to make observations? Would we look at some stuff? Yeah, all right. Well, let's see, would we touch things maybe when we're making an observation? Maybe if it's safe, right? We don't wanna go and touch like, like Monica mentioned a porcupine, right? Last week, we wouldn't touch one of those. It would be all pokey, right? Um, let's see, how else do we make observations? Do you think we'd smell? Do you think we'd use our nose to make observations? And the last one, we might not use this one outside very often. Our last sense is taste. We don't want to lick a rock outside, do we? That would be gross. No, but we can make observations when we eat inside some yummy food. So if we make some observations when we eat some mac and cheese, or we make observations when we eat broccoli, right? How does it taste? How does it smell, right? So there's different ways to observe or make an observation. So what do we see? What do we smell? What do we hear? What, how, how does it feel when we touch it? And then a sense of taste sense of taste, right? All right. So my friends, I am really excited to share this really cool book with you. My name is Amanda and I work for Game of Parks and I'm all the way in the western side of the state. So I'm a long car ride away from a, a probably a lot where my friends live. And my friend Monica is here with me today and she's going to be, be helping too, okay? All right. So can I share with you this really cool book? Here we go. It is called No Two Alike, okay? And we see two little red birds on there, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with this book. So this book is by Keith um, Baker, okay? Look at this. It says, no two snowflakes are alike. Can you see some of those snowflakes in there? And do we notice, what do you notice? What is that? Can you see that? Is that a birdhouse? All right. So no two snowflakes are alike. Almost, almost. Look at that bird. He's going whoop, 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 whoops. But not quite. Look at him. He's going to catch that snowflake. Do we notice some trees too? So we're gonna be making observations throughout the book today and then I'm gonna quiz you at the end, okay? All right, so here we go. <gasps> no two nests, so soft and round. Look at these nests. We have our little bird friend in this nest over here. And what is that sleeping in there, do you think? What is that bird tickling with that feather? Is it a squirrel? Did you know squirrels like to live in a nest too in the winter time? Look at that poor, that bird is being kind of tickling, huh? No two tracks upon the ground. Do you see some different tracks? 
Do you see one like he's skiing those long skinny tracks and then there's little footprints here and here. Okay. No two branches, no two leaves. Uh, look at those little birds eating leaves. Look at those. Oh, no two forests full of trees. What do you see over there, my friend? Who's that? What are they gonna hit with a snowball over there? You see the fox? You see him over here? There, the bird's making some sounds and it's gonna hit him with a snowball. Oh my goodness, that silly bird. No two fences, long and low. Look at that little bird. He's knocking all the snow off of the fence. No two roads, where do they go? Do you see that? I live on a road that looks like this and it's muddy and dirty. It's called a gravel road. How many of you thumbs up that live on a gravel road? How many of you live on a gravel road? How many of you live on a road that's a little bit more paved? Thumbs up if you live on a road that's kind of paved and hard, like a rock. Yeah, lots of friends live on a paved road, don't they? Oh my goodness. No two bridges, wood or stone. Do you see? There's two bridges. Here's one made of rocks. And here's one made of wood. No two houses. Anyone home? Is there anybody home in that house? Look at that. Is there one down here living? There's one. That one's got a little friend living in it. But this one looks empty. Hmm. Do you have a birdhouse at your house? How many of you have seen a birdhouse before? How many have never seen? All right, yeah, I have some friends that have seen a birdhouse and have not. No two friends, large or small, no two alike. Look at all these birds. And what are some things that we see? Are they all the same color? No, here's one that is red okay there's a real red bird here's one that looks orange here one up here what color is that one is it blue here's one over here that is black here's one over here that's Brown. Look at all those different colored friends that are on there. There's some more orange ones and they're big and small. So they're all different colors and all different sizes, right? So among you all. So there's some different friends. What are these? Are those deer? Yeah. So there's a different bird friends. Let's see. Who are some other friends? <gasps> Over here. There is a little chipmunk. Do you see him? Oh my goodness. There's a friend there. <gasps> oh, we don't have any of these, many of these in Nebraska, but those are bears. Oh my goodness. Look at those. And look at our little foxes. They're hiding because they were going to get hit by snowballs. Hmm. Yeah. And we've got a little squirrel friend over here. Do you see him? Oh man, so there are deer and chipmunks. My daughter's favorite animal is in there, a little bunny rabbit. Lots of friends live in the forest, don't they? And they don't look the same. Are we the same? Just alike? Almost, almost. but not quite. All right, so that was our book, No Two Alike, okay? So we're gonna look at some cool, I'm gonna show you some cool pictures and I'm gonna need your help. Are you ready? Get your fingers ready. I need you to make a number one or number two. Can you do that for me? One or two. We're gonna show you a picture and you can tell me which one you make an observation with. Is it a picture of number one? or of a number two, okay? 
just one moment, let me share my screen. All right. You see my cool PowerPoint there? All right. So no two alike, we're gonna make some observations. So here we go. These are snowflakes, okay? Now, let's look at these snowflakes. Are they the same? Do they look exactly alike? I see some head chicken, no? <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, but they're both snowflakes, aren't they? So which one do you think looks the coolest? Do you think number one or number two? Do you think is the coolest snowflake you've ever seen? Do you have a number one or number two is the coolest snowflake that you have ever seen? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's very different. Number two is very different from number one, isn't it? <clears throat> Which one looks like it's got almost some feathers on it? Do you think it's number one or number two? That looks kind of feathery. Okay, seeing lots of number ones. Which one do you think looks most like a shape that maybe we have seen before? A number one or number two? A shape. Mm. How many sides? Yeah. How many sides do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides on our shape, don't we? All right, but they're both snowflakes, aren't they? Mm. Have you ever tasted a snowflake before when it was falling from the ground? Have you ever tasted it before? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Hmm. What do we think it tasted like? If we made an observation, what did it taste like? Did it taste like water? Did it taste like broccoli? Did it taste like, what are the cotton candy? I don't know. I, you, all right, should we look at another one? Here we go. Remember in our book, we had nests. So let's make some observations with a nest, okay? Which one do you think, um, which one do you think is made of grass? Number one or number two? Which one do you think is made of grass? One or two? One or two? Number one, all right. Which one do you think is made of a bunch of leaves? One or two? Which one has a bunch of leaves in it? One or two? I'm seeing lots of twos. Okay, now let's remember from our book, which one do you think a little squirrel would live in? Which one would a squirrel live in? Number one or number two? Remember from our book, how the nests were different? Would a squirrel live in a nest like number one or like number two? What do we think? Number two would be our squirrel friend. Yeah. Okay. So which one do you think a little bird would live in then? Number one or number two? Which one would a bird live in? Number one or number two? Oh, we're doing good. Number one. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go to our next one. <gasps> do you remember in our book how there are different animal tracks? And these are animal tracks in the snow. So which one can you count four toes on? Number one or number two? Which one can you count four toes? Hmm. Hmm. This one's kind of tricky, isn't it? Hmm. That's a hard question. Maybe we'll come back to it. What about which one looks more like a different lines on the on the in the snow? Which one looks like a line? Like if I were to draw straight down, which one looks like a line? Number one or number two? One or two? Okay. Yeah. So we have number one is a little bird track. Okay. And number two is a little cat track. Okay. So that's fun. Okay. One more. Oh, two more. I lied. So we're looking at our trees. Did you notice in our book that the trees looked different? So 
Let's look at these two trees over here. Which tree do you think looks green all year round? Number one or number two? Which tree looks green all year round, even in the snow? Which tree is green? Okay, number one. Which tree lost all of his leaves? Number one or number two? Which tree do you think has leaves but lost them in the winter time? Number two. All right. So we have a, a, a pine tree or an evergreen tree is number one. And number two is a tree that we use some of our leaves on, don't we? Yeah. All right. Now, remember at the end of our book that those birds looked the same, but they were a little different, right? So which bird do you think would do a good job of standing out? Which one would you be able to see hiding in the snow or in some tree branches, number one or number two? Which one would you see hiding in the snow? One or two? Which one do you think you would see? Which one stands out the most? Okay. Maybe number two. Which one do you think would camouflage or blend in and hide? Number one or number two? Which one would camouflage? All right, so these are both cardinals and number one is a girl cardinal that needs to hide um, and protect her nest. And number two is a boy cardinal, okay? So my friends, I want you when you're out and about to make some good observations at home. How many of you have done a, a journal before? where you walk around and then you write or draw what you saw in your journal. So here's an example. Here's a little girl that went birding and she saw this bird down here. He's called a turkey vulture, okay? He's one of my favorites, okay? Now this turkey vulture, she drew it over here. And do you see her picture of the smiling turkey vulture? They both have red hair heads. They both have kind of black backs. And then she drew yellow feet. So you can make a nature journal at home, my friends, okay? So you can use your observations or your sight, your smell, your taste, your hearing, or your touch and draw or write some of the cool things that you have seen, okay? So I want you to work on that, okay? My friends, you all did so good today being such good listeners, okay? Oh, I really liked um, that everybody was a, such a good listener today. So thanks for joining me um, for our Nature Tales program. And, and next week, Monica is gonna talk a little bit about hibernation, Monica. Owls. Okay, yep. All right, my friends, I am so excited. Thanks for joining us here today. If you wanted to, you can leave a question in the chat or if you wanted to try to unmute if you had a quick question. Um, other than that, we are done with our program for today. So if anybody has any questions, go ahead and let them in the chat or unmute yourself, okay? Oh, I see that I have some friends with a question and they even raised their hands. Did you have a question? We missed last week, we had some computer issues. And so we saw that you recorded it and that we would be able to go back and watch it. Where do we find that? Yep, Monica's gonna put that in the chat for you. So you can go in there and watch it. I know it's on our YouTube page, um, but sometimes it's a little hard to find. Okay, and so cool. we'll just go ahead and put that link in the chat. So very good question. Thanks Thank for you. asking. Thank you.